Alright ladies and gentlemen, so I just watched the uh, Sonic movie. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I uh, expected to go in there and just kind of be like, okay, that, that was fine, and then just kind of forget about it, but it was not bad at all. Uh, like, don't expect, you know, Martin Scorsese level of storytelling or anything of the sort, but it is just good, like, comfort food. You just go in there and the movie does a good job of just making you smile. I chuckled a couple times, like even early on. Uh, Sonic is super endearing. So glad they changed the design. I mean, I, there are scenes that I'm looking at and I'm thinking, I just cannot imagine how that would look like if they used the old design. It would look absolutely hideous and it'd be so distracting. So first of all, kudos to the team for listening and for doing the right thing, you know? I'm all for creators trying to, you know, go for something different and whatnot, but with the old Sonic design, that was just bad design, I felt. So then fixing that and making Sonic so endearing looking, so cute, just uh, so lovable, uh, just amazing job. And especially to, to the animators. I know a lot of the animators for uh, the people who fixed the Sonic design, they like lost their jobs in Canada. I talked about that in a previous video. Well, if you guys are out there, you should be proud. You guys did a really good job with uh, the Sonic design and just uh, with uh, animating him just right. Um, it can occasionally look very CGI uh, for Sonic, but then there's certain shots where the lighting hits just right and Sonic looks really good. So um, overall, it's above average CGI. It, it's better than I was hoping it would be, uh, or than I expected it to be rather. But yeah, Sonic is super endearing. The performance was really good. Um, from Ben Schwartz, is that his name? I forget. Uh, I, I think that's what it is. But either way, yeah, that Sonic uh, just well performed all around. Uh, just gave him that Sonic attitude that you need. That combination of being super cool and hip, but also just being really nice and uh, just that endearing level of, of personality. They got that. And there was great chemistry between uh, Sonic and the main character, Tom, Thomas Wachowski or whatever. Uh, yeah, he, I don't think he's part of the Sonic lore. He's just kind of this new character they came up with, I think, to uh, to uh, just uh, have a, uh, this relationship with Sonic. And the movie's all about friendship, and Sonic is sort of alone. You know, he's trying to stay away from the eyes of humans because he's kind of this weird alien creature who came from his planet and uh, for circumstances that I uh, won't spoil, I guess. I mean, there's not too much to spoil really in this movie, but he has to live in uh, our contemporary planet and he finds himself kind of stranded there alone and kind of looking at society, uh, kind of uh, stalking society in a way uh, and wishing he could be a part of it. And then uh, circumstances bring Thomas Wachowski and Sonic together and they go on this sort of adventure and Dr. Robotnik, played by Jim Carrey, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he learns of this power that Sonic has this sort of power that he can use to fuel his, uh, machines and stuff. So he wants Sonic to experiment on him to get that power and use it for himself and his own purposes. And that's sort of the, really the, the basic synopsis. And then the movie runs from there, no pun intended. And, uh, yeah, Jim Carrey is Jim Carrey and I wouldn't have it any less. Uh, he's, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He's Jim Carrey. You'll know what to expect. If, uh, if you've seen other Jim Carrey movies, if you're a Jim Carrey fan, you're going to get Jim Carrey in, a, in its purest form, but with that Dr. Eggman kind of coat of paint. And uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, just uh, the comedy overall, you know, definitely tailored for kids. You're not going to get any super dirty jokes or anything. But uh, I don't know, just uh, the performances, the chemistry between the characters, it all lended itself to uh, a movie where the comedy 
was pretty decent, actually. I, I found myself, like, smiling and chuckling throughout the movie. Um, some jokes landed better than others, but for the most part, it, it was fine. Uh, you know, it, I thought it was... The, the comedy is what I was afraid of, that I, I thought it was going to be super cringe. Um, but, you know, I don't know. It wasn't that bad, really. It, it was fine. It, it was cool. And, uh, yeah, and there's some cool surprises and some uh, stuff to look forward to. There's post-credits. I'd recommend you watch that. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, the movie does a good job of just, uh, I think, bridging the, the the fans who recognize Sonic and uh, can look at this movie and look at some of the visual cues and go, yeah, I see what you th did there. And then it can also bring in new people who've never heard of Sonic or played Sonic or, you know, who just don't know anything about Sonic. They can go into this movie and still have a good time, you know, bring their kids and, and whatnot. Uh, but definitely a movie tailored for kids. Keep that in mind going in here. Uh, but it's just one of those movies anyone can watch and kind of walk away having fun. Uh, again, it's comfort food. It, it isn't some mind-blowing story. You're, you're not going to walk out of the movie theater with deep thoughts about life. You're just going to walk out of there thinking, this was fun. And uh, uh, for my part, I walked out there thinking, this is better than I expected it to be. Uh, and um, so congrats to the to the team, to the people who uh, made this movie. Um, yeah, it, it was just, it's one of the best, I, I think, video game to movie adaptations I've seen in the sense that they, they do a good job of contemporizing it uh, so that it fits in, in the, our modern world just enough so that the live action element uh, doesn't seem too jarring, um, uh, but also uh, paying homage to the source material, honoring it in what ways they can, while also doing their own thing with it. It's its own story, its own sort of uh, self-contained universe. But uh, for Sonic fans, all of the elements that uh, you might be pleased to see, you know, a lot of that shows up in the movie, and then for the casual crowd, it's just uh, a fun movie with very sort of, uh, you know, simple themes, but... Uh, well realized. This movie does very much feel like a superhero origin story where, you know, you've got the bad guy trying to exploit the power and then Sonic is still like finding his powers in a lot of ways. Uh, he still doesn't have full control of it. And so you see Sonic sort of develop that throughout the course of the movie. And uh, when he does, there's some cool action sequences that are fun and pretty out there. And uh, yeah, it's just an entertaining movie. That's sort of the the big takeaway from this. Uh, not deep, but just fun. Anyway, I don't know what else to say except that I am happy that this movie turned out uh, as good as it did. Just really better than I thought it was going to be, and that's not meant to be an insult. It's just I've experienced so many of these video game to movie adaptations that fall so short, and uh, this movie just has that right balance of it being a movie that anyone can watch, but also that the uh, the Sonic fans, the people who grew up playing Sonic or are familiar with the source material, can kind of look at that and, and smile at some of the references and uh, the visual cues and audio cues, you know, the Green Hill music, whatnot. And uh, there's definitely going to be a, a sequel for this movie. That, that, that's definitely something that uh, is hinted at. So, you know, we'll see if this movie does pretty well at the box office and if they want to continue this and uh, see where it goes. I feel like they can definitely do more with this. Now that they've established this version of Sonic's origin story, now they can really run with it and do uh, just a lot cooler stuff with it. Uh, they can enhance the CGI of Sonic even more and stick with that design again. Thank God. Uh, I mean, there, there are sequences where Baby Sonic, show, or not Baby Sonic, like Kid Sonic shows up briefly, and I'm thinking to myself, how would that look like if they use the original design? How much uh, of an abomination would that be? Um, but anyway, enough about the design. Uh, the movie itself, um, yeah, it, it's, it's good. Uh, I'd give it a watch. Uh, it's not something that I'd you know, run to see, you know, it's not like a must-see type of thing, but if you are a gamer and kind of want to see what a Sonic movie would look like, or if you just want a casual night out uh, and just have a little bit of fun, this movie is perfect for that. It's just a feel-good movie that uh, it reinforces the, the themes of friendship and how friendship can overcome anything and, you know, stuff like that. Um, rudimentary, but in a, in a good and effective way, I'd say.
So that's the Sonic movie, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, uh, it left me smiling. And that's, uh, I think, what ultimately matters with a, with a movie like that. Thank you for tuning in, folks. If you watched the movie, let me know in the comments below what you thought. Uh, I had a good time. And uh, yeah, uh, let me know if you did as well. And uh, to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, and the occasional movie review, if it ties into a game or if it's a big part of nerd culture, uh, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.